two to the downbeat of measure three and get what you want. Listen very carefully. Mm -hmm. oh. down and up as fast as you can. Just show me Just show me one. It has to bust all the way down through the plane. I go farther on my staccatos than I do on my lingas. Okay, um, quicker. The motion needs to be quicker. Don't worry about pattern, just motion. Good, much better. Now, can you add the pattern in without adding so much of your arm? Because that's part of the problem. Now you're not breaking the plane. There you go. That's what it should feel like. Um, you're doing a very nice prep for beat one. Staccato. Okay, so make it the correct beat. Just start on measure two. With the new staccato gesture and a good prep. <laughs> to really work on it. Turn sideways in the mirror and see how much you're breaking the plane. I mean, it should be crazy. It, this sh sh staccato is not nice to your forearm. Your forearm should ache when you're practicing it. Uh, and when you get to the staccato, just, just ditch the pattern. I had you add the pattern back in on the staccato because that was when you started using all your arm was to accomplish the pattern. Mm -hmm. Don't even worry about the pattern does not matter. Pattern is the least of your concerns when it comes to these exercises. So. If you have a big string of staccato notes like that, just give them the beat. That's all they need. Because the second you add your pattern in, you're getting a little more legato to it, so. Um, this is for everyone. 
when you have a staccato. Okay, your little arrow thingy that you use for your pattern becomes way more vertical. So it's it they don't need the pattern. I mean if you have straight staccato notes, they they're humans, they can count. So um, make your pattern more vertical and that will help you not drift as much. Number two. <laughs> got to convince them of B3. That was better, and your staccato was deeper, and they gave you a better sound. Sometimes it feels like when you're going from your legato to, to your staccato, maybe you're rushing a little bit. Not necessarily in tempo-wise, but there's a very quick movement that happens and you're, and you're stretching a little bit. That was much better, so I don't know what... I, I was wanting to see what you did before again so I could figure out exactly what it was, but don't even worry about it because if you can do it like that, just continue to do it that way. Do four beats of staccato the way you're comfortable and then the second four beats do like as crisp and as breaking the plane and sharp as you can, okay? Did you hear the sound change? Yeah. Watch the video and see which one you think looks better, okay? Okay. 